number one or number two? <laughs> number one. Anyway. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Hi. Welcome to Rachel Uncensored, the only place on the internet you can find an uncensored version of me. I'm Rachel Ballinger, and I'm here with Emily Brostaff. She was here last time. Woohoo! And we never got around to doing what I wanted to do. <laughs> so this time, we're going to do it. That's what happens when you put two ADHD women together. One unmedicated, one not medicated enough. And we hadn't seen each other. We're also just best friends that hadn't seen each other in a couple weeks. Yeah. We had a lot to catch up on. And my shoulder hurts. Uh, what happened to your shoulder? Hi. Th- this is my day today. Yeah. So one, uh-huh. my eye's all better. Oh, good. Oh, tell the people what happened. I scratched my eyeball on a leaf. I told you. Tell them it's a branch. Nope. It was a leaf. I'm going to let the world know how dangerous leaves are. They're dangerous. They'll cut you. Uh, apparently. Abby literally used the word chunk. There was a chunk out of my eye. The, yeah. I, the urgent care doctor went, yep. That's a big one. <gasps> no. I feel like you should lie. No. Not- I, she was validating my feelings. Oh, my God. Because it hurt. It hurt so bad. If you've never scratched your eye, I highly do not recommend it. <laughs> it is not the thing to do. Why is Blaze sniffing around like there's food in here? I don't know. I'm- don't you- knock over here. the mics. Don't knock over the n- mics. N- Nakey boy. Come here. Blaze. Okay. I'm going to put this over him. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um. I was doing woodworking, wearing my safety goggles the entire time. I'm so proud of you. Safety queen. Took them off, turned around, walked into a leaf. (laughs) So that was my day. My Saturday night ruined. Uh, I was supposed to go out with you. Yeah. And the crew and her girlfriend couldn't go out. Well. Um, Abby, she was, I was like, how do, but there was no comfort. No. There was no, because if you scratch your eye, every time you blink, it feels like there's a stick scraping your eyeball no 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 when you close your eyes and then you move your eyeball because you know how your eyeballs just move yeah um it felt like something was scraping my eyeball so the only relief is if i held it open like this you were literally walking around the house holding your eyeball open yeah like a little pirate thing going on but then you eventually have to blink and then that starts hurting because you're forcing your eyeball to stay open so saturday night no bueno i went to bed at 9 p.m i woke up sunday and was still in the exact same amount of pain Mm. so abby took me to the urgent care where the doctor was really nice and basically was like yeah you're gonna be out till like tuesday oh i said okay all sunday okay blaze is just having some reverse sneezing here you go bud all sunday excruciating pain i have never as an adult cried from pain I was, I sobbed. No. Because there was no relief. There was no moment of comfort. Yeah, they wouldn't give you numbing drops, right? No, because that slows down the process. I don't care. I would rather lay in bed for a week numb than heal in two days. Same. Yeah. Um, but I just, it was the same thing happened with my eye surgery is I was in so much pain that I slept all day to get away from the pain. Yeah. And she gave me these drops. So like, I took a drop every hour for 12 hours. I couldn't go to Dave and Buster's with everybody. I had to skip out on Dave but, and Buster's. But what did we bring you? Um, you guys brought me home a stuffed animal. And I forgot because I was in so much pain. When you guys came back, I was so, I, so hard not to cry again from no. pain. But you guys were so cute. You all, they all brought me home things from Dave and Buster's that they got. We, we worked so hard. You guys, you put your ussies into getting those we, tickets. I forgot it's uncensored. We can say ussie. Yeah, ussie. <laughs> So they all, what is the like, rapid security response? No, thank you. Okay. Well, I'll just put my password in. Um, but yeah, so everyone brought me home stuff at like 11 PM and I was like, thanks guys, please leave. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then Monday when I woke up, it felt a lot better. And then today's Tuesday, I went and saw the eye doctor to follow up and they were like, yep, you don't have to do drops anymore. You can put makeup again, do whatever you want. Just, you know, don't get. Does the chunk just he- regrow? Heals. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, that's what happened when my laser eye surgery is they lasered off no. like the outer layers no. and the leaf just scraped it all off. So like, yeah, it grows back. And I had extreme light sensitivity. I couldn't I could not be in light. I was in like a dark little cave for two days straight. We uh, my girlfriend and I came over to play cards on Saturday just to like check in on Rach and say hi to everyone. 
And you tried to play cards with us out on the dining room or no, in the living room. It was too bright. It was too bright. So then she was like, I want to play cards. Come into the bedroom. It was pitch black. (laughs) We played cards and I ended up just falling asleep on the bed. You had your red Hugh Hefner robe on. You all made me put that on. (laughs) Sunglasses in the dark room. With twinkle lights. It literally looked like a sex dungeon. (laughs) And you're like, here, come on my bed and play cards. None of us could see the cards we were playing with. You fell asleep. Abby was trying to get all of the same color. She's like, is this green, black, or blue? And we're like, there is no black. There's no black in the game, Abby. <laughs> um, but yeah, now I'm better. And then today, I my shoulder's been giving me issues. So I went to the doctor that gave me prolotherapy for my knees. Mm-hmm. And he did an ultrasound. He did the stretches and then did an ultrasound on my shoulder. And I have tendonitis in my rotator cuff. And an unsupported AC joint in my shoulder. So I have to wear athletic tape for two to six months. And I have to go once a month to get shots injected into my shoulder for max six months. And it's extremely pain. I almost passed out. <gasps> I almost passed out. You have a high pain tolerance too. It wasn't even painful. Like it was painful. And I was like, you know, I'm making myself and him laugh. And then, but afterwards I was like, my hearing's going mm-hmm. and I started wiggling my feet and my hands and he's like yep you're sweating I was like yeah don't worry I won't pass out but my body wants to and I'm, I'm really stubborn I won't yeah. pass out <laughs> I'm just and he's like and he did it everything while I was sitting up he's like next time I'll just lay you down I was like I don't care about needles he's like it's just a response that the body does unwillingly Ugh. like you just people just pass out and he goes I you actually most he said a lot of men pass out on the first shot I gave you and he's like, so the fact that you aren't passing out at all is really saying something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, do you get like a special ribbon? I should. You should. Um, uh, but yeah. So, okay. So I all better. Shoulder, not better. Getting there. We have a diagnosis. I thought okay. I tore something. Yeah. I have tendonitis. Don't know the difference. Don't know the difference. And you have tape to fix it. So it can feel supported. My, my joint. Yeah. Because you- apparently when like. I lift my, there's a joint thingy and they're not supposed to touch. But when I lift my shoulder up, they touch. Ew, 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 ew. And so uh-huh. ew. Okay, uh, the okay. tape is so that when I lift my shoulder, they don't touch. Mm, cute. Do you think the tape will fix my mental illness? Can we try it? Just tape Should my head. tape you? Tape my head. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, cool. Can New just, video idea. I'm just going <laughs> to put stickers on you. That would fix my mental health. Should I be giving you a sticker chart? I feel like you should. When I get my stuff done on time, I get to put a little sticker on the sticker chart. But I want them to be the Lisa Frank stickers. Okay. No, I was thinking like the cartoon stars that say like, you're number one. No, I want Lisa Frank stickers. Okay. Holographic. Limited edition. Whoa. Why Nin- are we getting 1996. so with your stickers? <laughs> Just go on eBay. Pay a solid $47. Do you want some Beanie Babies too? I was never into those. What? Because I'd rip the tags off because I didn't like the tags being on my Beanie Babies. So I... I couldn't get into Beanie Babies because I would make my mom buy them for me because everyone had them. And then I'd rip the tags off and I'd play with them like a normal child. But then all Mm. of my friends would be like, oh, you play with your Beanie Babies? We would set ours up in different displays. Exactly. Like along the back of the couch. But why? Um, I don't know. It was supposed to be our retirement fund, I was told. My mom still got boxes of them in the garage. I, I'm waiting. I I'm waiting for the day I can cash in. That purple Princess Diane teddy bear. We went to three different stores and waited in a 45-minute line. <laughs> we got her. Meanwhile, mine like came on the trampoline with me in the bathtub. Uh, ours had tag protectors. Yeah. I so. played with mine, but we also didn't damage them. Mm, I, I don't would know. damage my G.I. Joes. I don't know how to do that. I am so mad. I don't. My mom got rid of my G.I. Joes. Why? Oh, my God. Oh, she's going to run them. Wow. That explains a lot. That explains a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sad. Yeah. You're pulling so much hair off of Blaze. Dog of the day. Blaze boy. You're welcome. He's a really good boy. He's a really good boy. I got it. Okay. Thank you. Your next task today is vacuuming. Yeah. Yeah. He sheds a lot. All right. Do you want to know what I wanted to do today on this podcast? Um, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Golly gee, Sandra D. <laughs> Let's find out. I wanted to do the personality test of what kind of lesbians we are. Oh, I thought you were just going to say regular personality test. We can also do those. Okay, because mine changes every time I take it. Yeah, because it's all like, I, I hate, I hate, I hate these kinds of tests. Yeah. Because I'm always like, you got to give me more context or I'm like, or it depends yeah. on the day. Right. 
if it's like i don't know they're like how would you feel if and i'm like well i don't know i don't how am i supposed to know it's never happened to me right i can give the response i'd want to respond to mm-hmm. i don't know am i drunk um am i did i wake up on the wrong side of the bed have i had my coffee have you pooped yet? Am, am I am I am I fighting with anyone currently? Do I need to take out that anger on unknowing human? <laughs> like, tell me. I take the same one every time. It's the Myers Briggs one. It's like the standard one, and it still changes every time. But I think that's what it is. I think it's because sometimes I'm like in a certain mood, and yeah, sometimes I'm in another mood. So yeah. yeah. Also, we're answering it how we view ourselves or how we kind of want. Yeah, how we, how we would like to view ourselves. Yes. That doesn't always mean, like, we're not truthful with ourselves. No. We lie. I gaslight the shit out of myself. <laughs> Wake up in the mirror every morning. You will be happy today. <laughs> well, that is positive. That's just, those well, are your daily affirmations. I want to daily gaslight myself instead. You're going to be happy, you dumb little bitch. Like that, right? Yeah, that works. Yeah. So, take notes. <laughs> All right, so let's see what happens. Let's see how angry, because I get angry at these tests. Oh, my goodness. My, Beth texted me. Um, yeah, all right. Here we go. I'll respond to that later. It's about flip. Here we go. Play Buzz says, what kind of lesbian are you? Let's get started. Okay, okay. Okay. Pick a flannel, any flannel. So you just go ahead and pick a flannel. Let's do you, and then we'll do me. Okay. There's gray, green, blue, red. Uh, some crisscross i like the gray bottom yeah that, that one? one all right mm-hmm. the work week is over and it's time to unwind describe your ideal friday night depends on my mood depends on what kind of week i had right all do right. i want to go blow off some steam or do i want to relax yeah. what do you want? is your girlfriend in town or is she not right skyping the girlfriend then playing video games until 2 a.m no that sounds like you you video love games? a video game if it said then tiktoking until 2 yeah. a.m hitting the gym then oh. a romantic night with my lady absolutely <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i've stepped foot in a gym in like say, 12 the years you hit a gym <laughs> yeah seeing an underwater indie show then getting drinks underground not underwater oh I, just, I was like that actually i don't like indie music but that sounds bomb sorry seeing an underground indie show then getting drinks okay dinner at a raw food restaurant mm. then off to a drum circle no watching the game with friends and ordering wings no what game uh, the game uh, the game sorry right, exactly. the big one idiot uh knitting another sweater for my cat <laughs> mr pringles <sighs> omg totes going out with my girls rage <laughs> Why do it have to be phrased like that? I don't know, because that's the one I would pick. Exactly, but not phrased like that. Uh-uh. <laughs> not, no. Curled up with a good book and a cup of tea. Do OMG. Go oh out my with my dude. gal. Yes. Okay, choose a bachelor pad for sweet, sweet lady lovemaking. You. They're all like the same. It's because we're lesbians. Okay, there's beach. No. Boho. Maybe. S- m- like a uh, simple boho white person <laughs> these are all white people other white person modern a dude did that hotel pink okay do boho simple boho simple i think so okay i just made up all those terms i love it okay great it's midsummer and the sun is shining what is your body hair situation i think being natural is the most beautiful i refuse to conform to society standards of female beauty my body hair is my own business. Thank you very much. I try to shave pretty often, or at least up to my knees. <laughs> I'll shave if I have a special occasion. Impending sexy time ahead. I wax every square inch of my body. What? I, I heard thought, that click to it. I uh-huh. know what it was. Um, do I shave every square inch of my body? Yeah. 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 As do I, but yeah. I do it like I've I've got because it's bad for your skin. Like I've mm-hmm. noticed my scars and stuff. So every three days I shave my body and wash my hair. I love that. Yeah. All right. What undies have your names written all over them? Whoa. We got we got lacy see through. We got lacy cotton butterflies. These all look the exact same. Yeah. Oh, is it just the pattern? I thought we were going for like shape. Oh no, pattern pattern. Okay, so it's lacy with some satin butterflies. Uh, checkered. What is that? Is that like secretly Mickey Mouse? It can't, yeah, no. See-through lace, pink something, just basic 
mint roses or cheetah print? Uh, do the black lacy one. This one? Yeah. Okay. See through all the way. Get is it see through? I can't see from over here. <laughs> Who is? Nope. I'm going to read it correctly. Okay. Who of the following is your biggest girl crush? Okay. I don't. Fletcher's not on there. No. I'm sorry. Okay. Felicia Day. I don't know who that is. Same. Stevie Nicks. No. Rihanna. Maybe. Joanne Jett. Please. Ew. No, thank you. Andrea Gibson or Andrea Gibson? Nope. Jennifer Lawrence. No. Tina Fey. Oh, okay. I guess we're going with Rihanna. <laughs> That was... That was a horrible selection. I thought maybe you'd say mommy to Tina Fey, but no. I don't know. What's your cliche lesbian dream job? Oh. Lumberjack. Okay. Yo a straight man wrote this quiz. I mean, that's what I would have picked, but okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yoga instructor. Tattoo artist. That actually seems like a yeah. legit job. Gym teacher. No, ew. Contractor. That's what I want. Professional cat trainer. Software designer or journalist? A journalist. Tattoo artist. Tattoo artist? Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like you would like to be a journalist, but never mind. I don't um, like deadlines. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, thank this you. This is probably not the best job for you either then. But am I meeting all of them? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> How would your crew describe you? Okay. Take the good with the bad. You get I'll to pick. Do this. Yeah, yeah. Spear, spree. No. That's good. Nope. All the words that we weren't go. correct. Free spirited, but flaky. No, you're not flaky. Oh. What there's is a, that? There's a fly. Okay. There's a fly like trapped somewhere. Okay. Okay. Um, intelligent, but opinionated. That, so far, that one. Original, but exclusive. You, no. Loyal, but stubborn. No, I can persuade you pretty easily. <laughs> Determined, but competitive. No. Outgoing, but shallow. Yes and no. Creative, but socially awkward. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think you're socially awkward. Okay. That makes me feel good. I, I literally don't. I, I don't walk worry away. about you in social settings. I walk away from every social setting and then review every single thing I said. And I was like, well, that was awkward. Well, that was weird. Well, that was weird. Well, that was weird. I don't work. There are, there are a few people in the world I have no problem just throwing in a social setting. Yeah. You, Zara, Danny. Okay. I love that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And Abby, if she has at least two drinks in her. There we go. Because then she can talk to anyone about anything. I, I just need my Pepto. You just need your Pepto. <laughs> she needs some vodka soda. Danny likes a beer. Mm -hmm. Zara just needs a sparkle. Uh, just a little tiny one. And then compassionate but isolated. Mm. I'm a little combo of all of those. You are compassionate, but I, you're not isolated. Mm -mm. You're creative, but I don't think you're socially awkward. You're outgoing, but you're not actually that shallow. No. No. Um, you're determined, but not competitive. Mm -mm. You're loyal, but not... St you're like one, but not the other. Yeah. I'm going to say you're intelligent, but opinionated. Fair enough. There you go. Who is your guy crush? Everybody has one. Channing Tatum, Jake Gyllenhaal, Tom Hiddleston, uh, James Dean, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Zac Efron, Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, the soccer player. Yeah. Kurt Cobain. Ew, where's Steve Carell? Where's Jason Momoa? Where's Chris Hemsworth? No, he's a pass for me. Really? Yeah. His face. He's just too uh, handsome? I think he's, well, I was going to say, I think he's too manly, but Jason Momoa is very manly. Yeah. But, but also very in touch with his feminine side. So the ones that lesbians always go for are like the super manly ones. Chris Hemsworth, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Oof. and mm -hmm. Jason Momoa. Yeah. Okay, who on there looks most like Jay? Go, to, go with Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo? Mm -hmm. He looks wax. He looks like he's made of wax. He, he's a handsome man. He, this photo, at least, makes him look he is made of wax. Yeah. All right. And finally, choose a Tegan and Sarah <sighs> lyric to describe your love life. Okay. Who? Oh, my God. You have just brought shame upon the queer community. <laughs> no. Tegan I is. Don't do underground small people things. No, they're very big, but they were very big before you came out. Okay. So they, they've been big since like, uh, I want to say like the early 2000s. All right. All right, they, all right. Yeah. All I dream of lately is how to get you underneath me. I like when she's on top. Okay. <laughs> Take me by the hand and tell me you would take me anywhere. Okay. Maybe. 
Uh, I'm not unfaithful, but I'll stray when I get a little scared. No. Okay. Gross. Yeah. I felt you in my legs before I even met you. Nope. I feel weird saying these things to you. <laughs> You do your body work. I feel my purse, my, no, nope, my pulse working overtime. No. You do your body work. I feel my pulse working over. What the fuck? Her M- pulse? No, I know. You do your body work? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm immediately dry. My windows, <laughs> <laughs> my windows look into your living room where I spend the afternoon on top of you. No. That is the creepiest fucking lyric yeah. I have ever heard. Ladies, yeah, we are weird. better than men. Yeah. Tegan and Sarah. <laughs> All I want to know is, can you come a little closer? When I picture you, I think of your smile and it drives me wild. Take my hand and take me anywhere, one. Uh, yeah, I figured. Yeah. You love a traveler. I love a traveler. All right. Your results. I have no idea. It's like what type of lesbian they're like comparing people to. Like, are we chapstick? Are we, you know, what? You're the crazy cat lady. Oh, that's so me. <laughs> you hate... <laughs> Cats. With a passion. You hate them. Except Scooter and Frankie. Wait. It, okay. It's so bad. You are the crazy cat lady. Why not all lesbians have cats? You are definitely feline friendly. It's not that you are antisocial. It's just that fluffy little creatures understand you better than most humans. You are usually found in sweatpants, comfy sweaters, and with a, with a lap cat or two. Your compassion for animals often extends to your friend groups, which make <laughs> Making you go to making you the go to for post breakup consultation. Consolation? Consulta- yeah. Consolation. Consolation. Yeah. Yeah. You most likely meet girls through mutual friends and fall very quickly into lesbian bed death. No. <laughs> uh, but at least you get extra cuddles. Meow. That was so hurtful. And Should I, I do it really quick? I'm going to talk about this in therapy, I think. That just destroyed me. Can it be? Oh, I'm doing a different one now. It says pick a button up, any button up. Okay. Don't they know that um, designs are out? Oh, yeah. Don't they know that? Idiots. All right. I'll pick the simplest Wait, does that include flannels? No. Okay. (laughs) What's your cliche lesbian dream job? Photographer, stripper, astronaut, stand-up comedian, software designer, tattoo artist, cat shelter owner. I'll do... I can't draw for shit, but I would love to be a... Tattoo artist that draws terribly on people. Ooh, that'd be fun. And the rest of this just seems like too much work. <laughs> yeah, first, sh- yeah. Pick a shoe. I'm currently wearing high top Converse, and that is an option. Nice. How often do you shave during the summer? Often. I like them smooth. Yeah. We're going quick. Pick an album. I I don't know any of these. I know the Beatles. Okay, then pick that. Yeah, pick the Beatles. There you go. Did you style icon Haley Kiyoko, MB? Taika Waititi, Taika Waititi, Colin McCartney. I don't know any of these people. Col- you know Haley. You met her. I know Haley Kyoko. Okay. Do I get a point for that? Yeah. Liven up your wall. I'm supposed to pick tapestry. I picked one. Pick a gay anthem. Coming out by Diana Ross. Boyfriend by Tegan and Sarah. Born this way by Lady Gaga. And gravel to tempo by Haley Kyoko. Ooh, coming out, I think, by Diana, Diana Ross. Okay. I mean, I love Born This Way. But you're feeling I'm Diana. Feeling, I'm feeling Diana. Okay. Choose an orphan black clone. What? I don't know. What is this? I don't know. So I said this was written by a straight man. I, it might be. Oh, my God. There's 20 questions. Oh, no. How do you procrastinate? Make a looping edit? Poke slime? Screen print a TV? Watch Survivor? Play Far Cry Primal? Stalk your celebrity crush's Instagram. Watch Survivor. Yeah. Which couple do you stalk on IG? Are they all straight couples? Les Backpack Page. This is Rosalind Dix. Because it's Elliot. He's Elliot Page now. So this is so outdated. It is? Should I stop? Well, I don't know. I don't know any of these people. The only one I know is Elliot. Yeah. So... I'll choose Elliot's. I don't follow any of those people. Choose a bi badass. Rosa Diaz. Sarah Manning. Bo Dennis and Daryl. I don't know these people. I know Rosa Diaz. Okay. I don't feel like it's going to let. 
Yeah, it's going to be inaccurate because this is so, it's clearly old. Oh, fine. All right. Well, at least you weren't crazy cat lady. That's true. Okay, this is a new one. That just destroyed me. What? Do you need me to retake? Do you want me to take that exact one? No, it's fine. It's fine. You, just, you pick a new one. Pick a new one. No, I can do it. It's fine. I'll do it real quick. Um. Oh, Blaze kicked me. Idiot. He ain't a boy. Just, why would he be a good boy for this? It, he was dreaming. He was dreaming. All right. Emily, tell them something while I answer all these. Oh, uh, give me a category. Pizza. Pizza. Okay. I have thoughts on pizza. Papa John's, to me, you only order Papa John's for the garlic sauce, clearly. Uh, pizza Hut, I love a good Pizza Hut, especially with a stuffed crust, but I always have diarrhea after I eat it. So I don't order it that often unless I will be alone by myself for the next 24 hours. Wait, how would you describe me? Free-spirited but flaky, intelligent but opinionated, original but exclusive, loyal but stubborn, determined but competitive. Loyal uh, but stubborn. I don't think I'm stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not at all. Sorry, I misspoke. Uh, okay. Um... Domino's, I love their um, pan pizza there. Also gives me diarrhea. Mm-hmm. Pretty much any pizza I eat is going to give me diarrhea. Mm-hmm. So um, that's that. Also, I love my pizza with ranch. <laughs> I'm calculating my results. It's calculating if I get cat lady too. I know. Then you know it's just rigged. It's just like they think every lesbian. I'm the sporty oh. dyke. Okay. I mean, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that checks out. Okay. Yep. You are the sporty dyke. You're the girl that if you're okay, why does he keep bouncing down? Stop with the ads. Let me read my description of my sporty dykeness. If you're wearing yoga pants, you're actually doing yoga, but yoga isn't hardcore enough for you. You carry a spare softball in your backpack in okay. case of emergency. This is the most harmful stereotyping uh-huh. possible. You have tons of male friends that you see as just one of that see you as just one of the guys. No, I don't. I don't like to hang out with men. <laughs> <laughs> You're known to turn anything into a competition. Uh, no. Really? No. Yeah. No. Especially when it comes to dating. No. no. <laughs> not at all. Your hair hasn't been outside of a hair tie in months. It's currently down. While you may be a tomboy, you don't really consider yourself butch. Why wear makeup? You'll just sweat it off. Okay. I'm not wearing okay. makeup because I had an eye injury. So crack open a brewski and watch the game. This is, I'm telling you, th- this quiz was written by a straight man. It says created by Erica Pilgrim. Okay, well, Erica needs to get her shit together. Because Erica, are you a straight woman that hates lesbians? I think so. Because Real that- women vote for Trump is Erica. <laughs> <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting. Should we take another one? What kind of quiz do you want to take? I don't even know. I mean, we could take another one so you can redeem yourself. I guess. It's fine. Okay. Enter your name, Emily. You know what's the worst is when you do these quizzes? This one's by Jimmy G. I'm not going to repeat the last name because I think it might be a slur. Oh, okay. But Jimmy. But I hate when like, they're like, to see your results. The type in. Can no. You fucking give me the results. What time of day do you prefer? 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 8 p.m., 11 p.m.? 10 a.m. Same. What is your favorite stereotypical gay music artist? Tegan and Sarah. How have I never heard of these people? I know. You all hate their music. B- I p- believe you. Yeah. Who am I supposed to see? Maggie Rogers. Maggie Rogers. You keep calling her what? Martha. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret <laughs> Thatcher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bikini Kill. Never heard of them. The Veronicas. Okay. Ruby Rose. She's a DJ is what it says. Yeah. Um, and Patti Smith. This is outdated as well because Mommy Fletcher would be on there. But choose Ruby Rose because smush. I also know who that is. What to wear out on a chilly day? The green one. The army jacket. Yeah. Plaid raincoat army jacket. Oh, but we also have a poncho. Nope. All right. We're not going with the poncho, guys. Rude. What would you rather watch? The sunset. A rom-com. A lava lamp. Am I high? (laughs) Do people just watch lava lamps? When you're real high. Okay. A local band. A hockey game. Uh, Sunset. You would. Yeah. I don't know. Choose an animal. No dog because everyone loves dogs. Everyone was spelled E-V-E-R-Y. One. One. The number one. A cheetah. 
a rat, a bird, a monkey, or a cat? Monkey. Oh, ah, ah. Well, give, me, give me a monkey impression. Ooh, ooh. Ah, ah. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I froze. I froze. That, you froze hardcore. What the fuck was that? Do your guinea pig. <laughs> give me another animal. I got it. To, for you to do? Yeah. Give me a owl. Who? Who? Why are you being so <laughs> fucking annoying with this? Give me one more owl redeem. I'll redeem. Okay. Here we go. I don't believe you. Come on. Lion. <laughs> I hate you. Blaze is disgusted with you. He's, He's leaving. He's literally leaving. He's leaving you. He's leaving because he doesn't want to keep my feet warm anymore. And that's really rude. Now I have an ass in my face. Yeah. Why? How do you read children's books to children? Why don't I read children's books? But to how children? do you read them? Like how? If there's like a line, are you really going? Oh Wah. no, my my nephew literally used to stop me and tell me that I was reading them wrong because I would do I would try and do voices and he'd be like, "No, Emmy, no." <laughs> and he'd take the book to his mom. I'm on his side. Yeah, he's smart. <laughs> God, ooh ooh ah ah, get out of here. All right. What living room would you love in your future home? We got really colorful lights. No modern okay um recessed lighting natural lighting boho yeah yeah i figured oh and then um stop licking things why would we lick right now blaze why would we do this i'm a boho bitch i I know know. it i know it's simple no not simple what's it uh basic basic yeah Yeah. but can't help it what landscape is the prettiest to look at the ocean a city city skyline the moon reflecting on a lake sun setting on a mountains or a blooming garden stop sun setting mountains i okay. love a good mountain you love a good mountain what do you have most in your closet flannels t-shirts from an activity example summer camp shirt sundresses cute tops cool jackets bodies body <laughs> t-shirts <laughs> bodies just bodies which of these words do you like to use most and or variations of them like coolio sick noise that you know this was written in 2005 rad awesome cool sick nice come on which one of these words you use the most rad no awesome no cool fine sick no noise cool will be just fine with me (laughs) yeah cool you hope a girl buys you this drink fancy water boxed is better wait box water is better is this a like is this a box water website? I have no idea. They're trying think, to get all I the lesbians is, to switch over. I don't know. Vodka? Yeah. Herbal tea? No. Whiskey? No. Cappuccino? No. Vodka. Yeah, vodka. You want just the vodka. Yeah. All right, choose a crust. A crush. Crush. <laughs> Not a crust. <laughs> <laughs> Deep dish. <laughs> this is old. They have it's a page on this too. Mm. This is old. It is Elliot. All right, choose a crush. Just one. You gotta. We have Amanda Stenberg, Samina Wiley, Elliot Page, Lynn Gunn, or Hannah Hart. No. <laughs> this is a blast from the past. Samira. Samira. Oh, she's from Orange and the New Black. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If she had this in her car, you'd be into her for sure. For sure. Craft supplies. B- weed. Rollerblades. An amplifier library books that's it apparently you're gonna be into her if she's got one of these okay one more time craft supplies no you don't want a little glue stick action no all right a pipa mache a pipa mache a pipa mache weed no okay rollerblades yeah i feel like that's the best option honestly what's an amplifier like a speaker like a speaker i guess yeah. okay relax right we're not an 18 year old boy yeah and the library books but I do want to take a ride on your back as you rollerblade off into the sunset. Yes. Finally, choose one positive word to describe yourself. Ew. Positive. Sorry. Peaceful. Ew. No. <laughs> Cooperative. Cooperative. No. no. Friendly. Yeah. Lively. Yeah. And confident. No. <laughs> We're going lively. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. <sighs> Please. You are a lit lesbian. A clit lesbian, you say? Nope. Okay. It's just a lit. 
You love to have a good ass time with your pals and enjoy some different mind altering substances once in a while. That's me. Or maybe not at all. <laughs> yeah. But loud music and dancing all night with your GF sounds like an ideal evening. Party on, my friendo. Did it say that? Yes. Well. It says party on, my friendo. Coolio. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's a little more accurate than the cat. I think so. I just don't do drugs and not because I don't approve of them. I just don't want to. Okay. So these were the other ones okay. that you could have been. A coffee shop lesbian? No. A punk gay lesbian? No. Lit lesbian? Yeah. Plant lesbian? No. Sports lesbian? Maybe. Okay. Hold on a second. I have text messages. Before I move on, let's check to see if we have a sponsor for today. <laughs> sponsor, sponsor. Skims. Skims is our sponsor for today. I've been wearing Skims for a few months now, and I absolutely love it. This underwear is game changing. I will never go back. Skims is creating the next generation of underwear for every body. I typically only wear sports bras or bralettes because I hate the clasp in the back. You won't find a single clasp in Abby's or my bra drawer. It doesn't exist. We hate it. And that's why I love Fits Everybody crossover bras because they're smooth and they lay flat. The Fits Everybody collection of underwear is super lightweight and molds to your body. You forget that it's on you. The buttery soft fabric stretches to twice its size without ever losing shape, meaning you get the perfect fit every time. It's available in sizes XXS to 4X. Believe the hype, Skims has over 90,000 five-star reviews for a reason. Skims fits everybody and more best-selling essentials are available now at skims.com. Plus, get free shipping on all orders over $75, all at skims.com. After you place your order, please be sure to let them know we sent you. Select podcast in the survey and be sure to select my show in the drop down menu that follows. Get some skims and get comfy. And we're back. Emily doesn't want to do quizzes anymore. She's insulted. <laughs> I literally, I thought it was going to be like chapstick or whatever. Yeah. It was like, what the fuck is a, I draw my Apple Watch. Oopsie. What the fuck is a lit lesbian? Yeah. I don't know, but it's better than Cat Lady, so I'm fine. Um, I think I am a chapstick. I can't use stud. No. Stem. Yeah. Uh, no. No, because that stems yeah. from stud and femme. Yeah. I'm a chapstick. I'm not, I don't think I'm a dyke and I'm not butch. What is a dyke? Like when, when someone says like, oh, I have this hot dyke friend, like what do you picture? Butch. Hmm. I cause when I picture butch, I picture like uh the shaved head, like shaved sides. Like a uh, butch to me is like the the ones that like people would say sir to by accident. Yes. That's, that's what I butch picture. to me. Yeah. Dyke as I think a little bit more like has like more of like a hard edge. Like biker hmm. Maybe a shaved head dyed hair like black dyed hair okay so a little more punky yeah a little punky butch okay is dyke to me okay but these are all things that it doesn't matter but yeah. also it, you can be whatever we're not shaming any of them but i'm just saying well, my type is i'm close to sporty yeah but like i'm not a sporty uh yeah i mean i no, I, I think you're right i think you're a, a chapstick I feel like there should be more definitions. Yeah. We, we, could, we could develop them. Put should the, we do that? Put them on. Um, Let's create a quiz. Okay. <gasps> I like this. Which sock would you wear? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Based off of how I, I chose boho and I chose nothing to do with cats and somehow they got cat lady. And I just You're don't understand. really upset about this cat lady. Thing. Yeah, it really hurt my feelings. I'm sorry. Yeah, nothing wrong against cat ladies. I'm just not one. And I felt very like unseen. Unvalidated unseen. Yeah, I understand. So, um, why well, can't? maybe we should have just never done this podcast. Like we actively avoided this last time we did a podcast. That's true. I purposely ADHD ranted so I wouldn't be a categorized. Crazy cat lady. Yeah, into a crazy cat That's lady. Fine. That's Why can't fun. I be a crazy dog lady? Because I am that. A thousand percent. Proudly. They asked us nothing about animals. No. And I don't know why the stereotype is lesbian and cats. And I want to know where that came from. Because all I see is lesbian and dogs. 
So you're either a dog person or a cat person when it comes to lesbians. Okay. But I used to think I was just dog and now I'm like feeling cats and dogs. You like cats? I've always loved cats. I just hate litter boxes. Oh. I grew up with every fucking animal under the sun. Mm. I love cats. Okay. They're little bitches. I know. That's why. I, and it's not that I don't like. Okay. The reasons I don't like cats and everyone's going to make fun of me. I don't like cats because when I used to go on vacation as a kid, aka when I would go to grandma's house, they would always pee on my bed because they were mad that we left. Oh, cats are like vengeful. Yeah. You can say animals like don't have that thought process or whatever. No, cats do. Cats are fuckheads. Yeah. I don't like the litter box and I don't like that. Like that's why I love dogs so much because like Blaze, you could literally pick him up right now, put him on, on your lap and he would just cuddle. But cats, they don't like that. And I don't like that. I want you to cuddle me when I want you to cuddle me. So. Uh, cats, yeah. I used to have it in my house. Our cats were out, indoor, outdoor, and then just mainly outdoor. And But whenever we would like cry as kids, that's a sad sentence. <laughs> if you're by yourself, more sadness, you'd go outside and sit on these like stairs yeah. next to the fence. And the cats were all over the neighborhood, but they'd hear you crying and they'd all run oh. and meow and ro- like cr- like rub up against you that's really cute i know i was crying this morning and blaze literally flopped his entire body over and like hit my face so hard with his face when he was flopping he said i'll give you something to cry about yeah and then he kept looking at my tears and it was really cute and he was a sweet sweet boy but then he started whining because he was freaking out and he like didn't know he doesn't know how to he was like tears. panicking he was like, like what do i do <laughs> anytime i've ever cried in him he comes over and gives me a kiss and i'm like okay thank you buddy he's like okay i fixed it <laughs> And then I think he, he's like, why haven't I fixed it yet? Yeah. Yeah. This isn't the, right. The water is still coming. It's salty. I do not like it. It's not my I, Evian. I don't really like it's that. It's not Evian waters. <laughs> he yeah. won't drink what's in that bowl because it hasn't been cleaned out. Okay. I mean, I do dump it and refill it, but apparently it needs to go through a dishwashing cycle, even though it did come in here after a dishwashing cycle. No, he doesn't like it. He doesn't like it either. He's I have finicky boy on the planet. Yeah. I replace the bowl at my house every day. So Snoop, anything. A gutter water. Actually, Blaze prefers puddle water and gutter water. No. There needs to be flavor. I think that's what we're missing. Oh my god. Okay. ADHD side note. I really want to do a blind water taste test to figure out which water I like the best. So you're not biased. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So because what did I drink? I just drank Jason Momoa's water that was in um I took my girlfriend to Arawan. She's obsessed with Arawan. Took her to Erewhon on Saturday to get her. Is it Erewhon or Erewhon? I thought it was Erewhon. I thought it was Erewhon. But I don't know shit, so. I don't know either. I'm really too poor for there, except when my girlfriend visits and I splurge. The only time I've been there is JoJo took me and she paid for everything. Yes. Um, I tried to pay for myself. Don't come for me. Yes, you did. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I took her there and I saw Jason Momoa came out with a water line. And so, and I think he lives in Hawaii. And so I was like, oh, it's probably good. Drank it. It tasted so bad. And it was so expensive. It was so expensive and it tasted so bad. But give me some Crystal Geyser. I fuck that shit up. Crystal Geyser is good. I do not like Arrowhead and I do not like Dasani. No, Dasani literally tastes disgusting. I heard a rumor one time that they put salt in Dasani to like make you more thirsty so that you'll drink more of it. I believe it. Aren't they owned by Coca-Cola? Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised they don't put Coke in it. See, no. (laughs) What? I was going to say, then I would like Dasani. (laughs) All right, let's do a bl- ow, ow, ow. Blaze, why would you scratch me? You can do the blind taste test with us. I'll blind taste test water. Do you just okay. want like the cheap brands and the middle brands? Like how expensive do you want me to I get? I want to go from like Fiji to Arrowhead. Oh, I was thinking like I want to go from like Air One spring water. But why? You're not going to be able to afford it. Because I just want to know if I'm distinguished or not. Am I a distinguished gentleman when well, it comes to water? <laughs> Or am I Abby was able to test the different flavors of the waters and know which one was which when we did when you bought me that really expensive or made me buy that really expensive. <laughs> I bling. bought the really expensive with your credit card water. Yes, <laughs> the bling water versus like Arrowhead. I yeah. can't taste the difference between shit. Yeah, uh, but oh, I want to do it to you. What the taste testing thing? Yeah, because I have- Abby did it and she has it. She has yeah. that extra se- tasting thing. Uh huh. Oh a- oh oh! You mean the actual the actual testing. the actual testing? I do too because. Um, that's another reason that I get made fun of. Okay. I get made fun of a lot for being a picky eater, but it's because my taste is so sensitive and my texture is so sensitive. So it's like, um, my girlfriend tried to be really nice and I eat hummus from this one Greek place at least once a week from down the road. And she tried to be really nice yesterday and ordered it for me. 
there was an ingredient missing and she was like, I literally can't taste the difference. I couldn't eat it. And so like <sighs> I can taste very minute. I'm going to. I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to yeah. give you the thing and you put it in your mouth and you tell me what it tastes like. And then okay. I will tell you what that means. What? It, where, where do you get it from? Explain Explain what it is, though. It's, okay. So there are some people that have an extra like taste bud thing Okay, where they can taste an extra layer that other people can't. Mm -hmm. This guy I knew, uh, Anthony, worked for a professional chef in New York and she didn't have this, but he did. Oh. And she was like annoyed with it because she like, she, and he told me about it because she ordered these things to test. And she's just a phenomenal cook, but he has the natural gift for it. Mm. And I've been telling Abby since I fucking met her. Yeah. I was like, she's like, tell me what's in it. And I was like, I, it's good. I can't tell you. <laughs> I like, I am like caveman, this good, this no. Right, right. You know, like that's all it is to me. Yes, no. And then like spicy, not spicy. Right. That's literally, and I've been trying so hard and she's got, she used to get really frustrated with me because she thought I wasn't trying. And she slowly learned. I literally can't right. taste stuff. And I will truly try. And she used to be like, what do you think's in it? And I'd be like, babe, I know you're being cute. Yeah. You're going to frustrate both of us. You're like, salt. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. And she'd be <laughs> like, does this taste good? I'd be like, yeah. And she's, what does it mean more of? I'm like, yeah. don't ask me that. Right. Do not ask me that. I told you it tastes good. Right. <laughs> and I will, I always, I'm like, I will be truthful, but doesn't. And I, there have been times I was like, that's not good. Oh, no. And she's like, thank you. And then she like works at it. Hold on. She's texting me now. This is important business. But yeah, so she, I finally, I was like, you have that extra taste thing. She's like, no, I don't. You just like, she like she's like, you just need to learn about it. And I was like, no, no, you have the thing and I do not. And so I got the thing and I had her take the test and I took the test. I obviously failed it and she passed it. And I was like, I told you. Do you have extras? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch. It's but like, I'm not going to tell you what it's supposed to taste like for what? No. Yeah, because no. I want a blind testing. Yes. That's what I want to. Okay. Yeah. Great. I love a good blind test. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I think that should be it for today. Okay. We did our testing. She's a crazy cat lady. I'm a sporty dyke. And that is what I it is. I learned something new about myself today. And those tests are outdated, probably because tests like that are not great for our community in the stereotypes the stereotypes that's what i'm saying the stereotypes it, aren't good but now we're gonna go taste my test buds taste my test buds i am Ta not tasting your test buds <laughs> we just taste my test buds <laughs> we're gonna go test my taste buds and i'm gonna make you listen to a tegan and sarah song i say it's like i get the raw on the stick on this one i feel so but it's okay <laughs> okay uh, that is a sacrifice i'm willing to let you make oh thank you all right that's <laughs> it for today guys thank you for watching thank you for listening uh i'll be back in two weeks with another episode uh, maybe I think Abby said she'd be on one. Oh, yeah. So you're in the boot. All right. Well, well. <laughs> I love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of Rachel Uncensored, the only place on the Internet where you can find the uncensored version of me. Rachel Ballinger. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, subscribe, or follow, or do whatever this platform tells you to do so that you can get notified every time I post a new episode. Love ya!